A waste paper basket in an office building is on fire. The fire detector first locates the smoke. The fire detection system reports the alarm to the operator via the building management system and if necessary directly to the fire department. An acoustic fire alarm as well as automatic voice announcements are triggered. The person in this room is requested to leave the building. He's assisted by various building technology systems and their integration as illustrated in the following evacuation scenario. When the fire detector locates the fire, lights go on automatically, which facilitates orientation. A presence detector shows the operator and the fire department that people are still located in this room. The ventilation switches to safety mode. Ventilation and fire dampers are closed in the affected zone, which averts the spreading of fire and smoke. The next step is to automatically raise the blinds. Not only does this provide more light and thus improve orientation, but it also enables people to be rescued faster and allows firefighters to access the affected area through the window. The person is now on his way to the door and notices that the room handling unit is displaying a rapid rise in temperature. The fire department reads this on the floor plan, which tells it how the heat is spreading through the building. The person now leaves the room and looks to the left. From the emergency light on the ceiling, however, he realizes that he must go in the opposite direction. Red LED strips on the sides of the nearest door also indicate that this is the wrong way. The person looks above the door of the room he has left and sees a flashing alarm indicator. This means that a fire was detected in this room. The ventilation starts up in the hall, providing fresh air and improved visibility. The person follows the emergency lights and can orient himself with the help of the green LED strips on the doors along the way to the stairwell. A glance to the right reveals that the elevator is out of service. This is made clear by red LED strips. The video surveillance system is running, which gives the operator a live view of the building so that he can intervene in the evacuation process with optimizing actions, such as voice announcements. The person now descends the stairs and leaves the building as quickly as possible. Thanks to optimum information and support due to integration of the disciplines, he has reached safety without panic and is taken care of immediately. The fire department's on-scene commander obtains all important information about the fire on the floor plan above the fire control panel, the position of the fire source, location of people, as well as the way the heat is distributed throughout the building. He also determines that the general power supply in the fire zone has been turned off and the safety power supply turned on. This protects his team during their deployment while maintaining essential functions such as emergency ventilation and lighting. All of this information is valuable in order to efficiently rescue people and fight the fire.